so I started running these two Tamagotchi as part of a thing I'm going to do. Um, it's a project where I'm going to do art relating. I'm going to take pictures and art of these Tamagotchi and art, do art relating to them, along with two others. I haven't started the other two yet. But this one here, the back button, like this one you can go... And it's a little bit stiff, so I figure I, I'll open it up. They're both, they're both at that stage now, they're both the same little guy. I'll open it up, we'll look inside this guy's guts and clean him up a little bit. So this one is the Tamagotchi Plus. <laughs> it took a bit for that to fade, didn't it? And I don't remember when I got this one, but I don't think I've ever looked inside the guts. But I'm guessing I can just clean the contacts behind the buttons and then we will be good to go. I didn't actually think about where I wanted to sit these screws so I wouldn't lose them. It's got stuff in it. Uh, I think I would have a million little bottle caps around here because usually I do. <laughs> so I just have to remember the longer screws go on the outside. I've taken apart plenty of Tamagotchi before. I do not remember if I've ever taken apart a version 3. I mean a version 1, 2 or Tamagotchi Plus. Yeah. That screw is a little bit hard to get to. I don't want to accidentally strip the screw. Oh yeah, this um, screwdriver is magnetic, if that wasn't obvious. I have another screwdriver too, but it's actually a bigger screwdriver, so it would not be helpful in this case. It's a little bit stiff in there, so I'm guessing I haven't opened this guy up before, because if I had, it would not be so stiff in there. But I got him out. I got it open, as you can see, so I'm going to sit, oh, did, where did I put, did, it kind of exploded open, did I drop it, I might have dropped it, that button, but, and I can hear noises outside, and I'm not sure if it's like neighbours' children, or, yeah, I did put it in there. Or a cat. Because my grandparents' two cats are, in fact, outside. Ugh. Tiny screws. Am I screwing this the right way? Eh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can have this little fella come out and you can see the screen right there, the buttons right here, buttons, take them out, Oops, let me stand up, take them out, do a little squish squish squish, and if you wanted you could do a proper cleansing of your buttons while you have them out, but as you can see, it's not too hard to take this little guy apart to this degree. And now I wouldn't I don't know that I would actually recommend my method of doing things, but I have some nail polish remover and I'm gonna struggle to open it and then I'm gonna stick my thumb in it. Now I've got a thumb with nail polish remover on it. I'm gonna pick up my guts and I'm just gonna Give me another thumb full, please. Wipe the contacts. Oh, too much, too much. Hope I didn't completely fry anything with the amount I just put on there. And then I'm going to start putting it back together again. <laughs> That's it. I just cleaned the little contact thing. And we'll see how that went. 
there's a little white thing in here. Maybe that's meant to be there. Don't know. But we can put them back together now. Easy peasy pumpkin pie. We can put the buttons back in there. We can put the lid back on the nail polish remover. There will be a little bit of an age difference between these two guys now, obviously. But you know what? That's fine. They can have a little age gap as a threat. Hmm. There we go. I'm going to be doing a little bit of... I don't know if I explained it already. I'm going to do a little project. I'm going to run every version of Tamagotchi I have, but not all at once, obviously. But I've started with the, the Tamagotchi version 2s and the, the version... and the Tamagotchi Plus. Because those are the... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm struggling to screw. Uh, those are the versions I'm starting with. I'm starting with four of them. My three... re-releases died. Sally just died earlier today, so not running those anymore, but I'm gonna, I think I did actually explain, so there will probably be a few different videos and art related things related to these guys. I don't know how long I'm gonna run them for, just until I feel like I've done enough content for them, I think. It's like a thing of, I want every single time bridging... I want every single Tamagotchi version to have lots of content out there for it, and I would like to contribute towards that. I started my own um, Tamagotchi group on Facebook, and I made an album for putting my Tamagotchi version 2 and Tamagotchi Plus content in. Feel free to join the group and make your own content around them. Or you can just wait until I'm up to a different version and join in then. Or you can just do it, start making content of different versions now. You know, you don't have to just join my project. You can do your own little thing around it. I'm waiting for some Tamma mail and feeling a little impatient. You know, people love mail. But um, I didn't pick an awesome time of year. You know, because I have a PO box... And so the mail goes to the the people who, it goes to the garage beside the PR box and then they organise all the mail into the PR boxes and if it doesn't fit in the PR box they have to go in and collect the mail. They put a little slip in the PR box instead. It's like, come in, collect your junk. And then I go in and collect my junk. And if, my t if any mail needs to be signed for, I go in there. They just put the slip in regardless of if it fits if the package would have fit or not, they put the slip in, and then I go in and I sign, and they show me a thing that I sign, I always forget which way this goes in, is it that way? And then they give me a slip, I sign the slip, I mean they don't give me a slip, they show me a screen on a phone that I sign. And then they hand over my package, and because I was paranoid about my Tamma mail, I... That's a package I have to sign for. And their, their opening hours are very reduced around this new year and Christmas, which is kind of frustrating. Like, they're only going to be open half an hour on Saturday, and I don't know if they're going to be open at all until then. It's Wednesday, and I, uh, the estimated delivery was today, but I, I don't know. It didn't deli get delivered today, and the garage wasn't open today, so. Mm. Not to very fun. But hey, I completed this silly little task. You got to watch me complete this silly little task. Now you, if you need, if you've got a stiff button, you can try doing this silly little task. See if it helps you. Uh, 
um, these older Tamagotchi connections, honestly, I think they're a bit prone to to having that issue after a while, you know. Good to open it up, give the little gutsies a little bit of a clean. Um, you can use, uh, what are those things called? Ear swabs, you know, stick with cotton on either end. Um, you can gently use that to clean a little bit. Use, like, the barest amount of nail polish remover if you feel the need. And very gently clean the contacts and everything. If you would rather do that instead of the thumb method that I used. <laughs> the thumb method was because I couldn't be bothered finding something else to use. Um, now let's see. Oh, crap. <laughs> see, that's what happens when it's not pressed to the screen enough. Now, is it a, this screw issue or one of the inner, inner, inner screws? <laughs> See, that is the, the issue of doing a silly little task, is sometimes you create a new silly little task that needs to be done. Who doesn't love a silly little task? Love a silly little task. Yeah. Oh, it's right here. I thought I had dropped it in the instant that I had taken it out. So that bottom corner here, is that one just not in tight enough? Yeah, it really was just not in tight enough. You can see now that it is fine. So, obviously, when you're piecing your Tamagotchi back together, make sure to put the screws in tight enough. <laughs> Otherwise, you will have issues. Now, let's... I only need one screw at a time, please. I don't know how often I'm going to have Tamagotchi videos, because I would like to do a Tamagotchi log, but I don't want it to be like the previous Tamagotchi log I've done. I want them to be interesting. So I might do the occasional Tamagotchi video, but I can't promise that. Like, I'll definitely do videos like this one, where I, I fix or try to fix issues I have as they come up. I might end up doing some videos with my Tamagotchi Smart, my two Tamagotchi Smart, if I end up running them again. I probably will. It'll be a while, because obviously I've got to get through all of the connection series. I, I, I only have one version 6, and I think it has issues with it that I need to fix. I would love to get more, but uh, I would love to get two version 6 that are in better condition than the one I've got. So I can do, I can run that, those. But I don't know that it will be very would be very easy to find version six. I may end up just having to save up a redonkulous amount and make an in search of post in the Tamagotchi Discord and see if anyone is willing to sell to me and then ship to my PO box. PO uh, box. But that will take a while, because I have other things I need to do beforehand. I guess I've got all the way until I start the version 6 run to save. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
See? You can see the, bu the back button is immediately better. It has fixed our issue. How nice to have a nice simple little fix. Yay! So yay! Task complete.